If you knew Joshua, you knew that he would be there for you no matter what. And I guess that's why we are ultimately gathered here today. The widow of fallen Charlotte officer Joshua Iyer filled with emotion at her husband's memorial service as hundreds of officers from across the country filled the streets with procession in his honor. Officer Iyer was one of four killed in Monday's shootout with a suspect at an East Charlotte home. Now, he joined the Charlotte Mecklenburg Police Department back in 2017 and also served in the National Guard with first responders from Haywood County. Just emotional, as you can see, hundreds filled First Baptist Church in Uptown Charlotte to honor Officer Iyer. Fellow officers, the police chief, and Joshua Iyer's best friend all spoke about their friend and colleague with messages to widow Ashley and son Andrew. Ashley Iyer also spoke directly to her husband in an emotional farewell. Joshua. Thank you for giving me a beautiful life and for our beautiful son. We won't let you down, okay? I love you so much, sunshine. I'll see you soon. When you first meet Josh, he is hard to gauge. He is stern, steadfast, and serious. It's not until you talk about music comic books, working out, or his family, that you get the chance to experience one of the most amazing souls this planet has to offer. Mr. and Mrs. Iyer, thank you so much for raising such an amazing man. Fellow officers also spoke about Joshua Iyer at today's service, remembering both his strong work ethic and sense of humor. Chief Johnny Jennings offered words of encouragement to widow Ashley Iyer. Ashley, to you and your family, your mother, Josh's parents, I want to let you know how grateful I am to spend some time with you yesterday. And I caught myself trying to think about how I can help you heal. You help me heal. You help me. And that means so much to me and is so special. One of the most beautiful things to witness is your close friends you spend so much time with grow as human beings. The pride and glow in his eyes when speaking about Ashley and Andrew make you see your friends in a different light. One that not everyone else may get to see. After the service, Officer Iyer's body was taken to a Charlotte cemetery for internment. As News 13's Kimberly King shows us, the procession included officers from here in western North Carolina. Thousands of officers came here to Charlotte from as far away as Texas to New York, including from Western North Carolina, the city of Hendersonville, the city of Asheville, and multiple sheriff's departments. You can see them now behind me proceeding to the grave site. Feel the hurt for the city, and it was a sad, terrible loss. We come here and out of respect. It was that kind of day when officers salute badges covered. Young, like Charlotte officer Josh Iyer was. A certain breed of people that are police officers. Just put yourself ahead of everybody else. A horse-drawn caisson carried officer Iyer's body. He was 31. Behind it, a riderless horse. Asheville police officers and lieutenants coming to represent. We never get used to this, unfortunately. It's uh this is a very sad time. Sergeant Matt Huggins from Marion says he's never wavered in his career choice. The way I look at it, though, is if, if I don't do it, who's going to? There were lighter moments, therapy dogs being touched and loved on, even by a little girl. We've been spending the last couple of days at police headquarters visiting the different departments just to bring, bring some love and comfort to the officers. The long line of blue. Charlotte residents turned out with flags. And they went to work in the morning and they never came home. Derek Strother taking pictures, thinking of Officer Ayer's three-year-old son. I'm praying for you. 
They want Officer Iyer's family to know this is a family. And for his wife and for his three-year-old son to grow up knowing that his father was a hero. Reporting from Charlotte, Kimberly King, News 13.